you're not going to go just write a movie. You're going to go watch the movies, right? You're going to watch them, get the scripts, read them, then write them. Well, web series is the same thing. Study the medium. Hello and welcome to Inside Web Series. I'm David M. Green. Web series festivals have allowed web series producers to showcase their content online, meet industry contacts, and form a community. And it is a community. Well, first off, it's really great to see other web series you don't know about. The internet is such an ocean full of uh, different shapes and sizes of fish that it's hard to uh, know which ones you're really going to fall in love with. And at the festivals, man, we always meet new awesome creators, new awesome shows, and uh, we're further inspired to make something really special because we see all these other people doing it, usually out of their own pockets, to make it and to be there. And it's just kind of a sweet party, a party art. This community is unbelievably supportive of itself. Uh, I've never met a community of people like this. Back in 1995, when we created the first web series, The Spot, uh, we had won the first uh, cool site of the year, which was given to, by Infoseek. It was called The Webby. And we won the very first one, got a lot of attention, a lot of press. The, at the time, uh, Microsoft uh, Explorer, Netscape were the big uh, web browsers, and we got celebrated on all of those things. I uh, made a tremendous amount of noise amongst the press because we were first. As far as awards, I'm not a big awards guy. Uh, I was part of this whole founding class of the IAWTV, the International Academy of Web Television, which founded the Streamy Awards. Now, of course, there's two separate awards, the IAWTV Awards and the Streamies. Uh, and I've been nominated for a bunch, won the best ad integration, I've uh, been nominated for Writers Guild Awards, and I've I've gotten into a bunch of different festivals. I think festivals are probably a little bit more th more worthwhile than awards. I mean, the awards, I, they both essentially do the same thing, which is it, it's only good to remind yourself that you've done something, that, that you're on the right track. You know, sometimes you need that reminder. So it's a back padding thing. Festivals select shows that, that uh, they review closely. And so it's an important source of sort of third-party endorsement or not for your show that, um, you know, is a well-known technique in the indie film and the regular feature film business. So we won uh, a Shorty Award for Best Web Series and it, it was such a surreal thing because it was really just a bunch of friends who set out to create something that they cared about and it was like a validation, you know, and I don't think everyone needs like a validation, but it was just, it was really a nice just pat on the back and it just felt like, oh, we're, we're doing the right thing. You know, it felt, it, it felt really, really good. The first viewers, the ones who will help uh, echo the uh, web series, it's also very rewarding for them to, that the web series that uh, they have been supporting gets an award. You know, awards are one thing, um, I, you know, but the, I think the real exciting thing is uh, the work. Winning the 2010 uh, Vimeo Award for Best Original Series was uh, completely life-changing for a few reasons. One, it was a, obviously a bunch of exposure for Breakups the Series, which was unbelievable. I think now it's been seen by, I think, over 8 million people, which is insane to think about. Um, but the more sort of meaningful factor for me was that Vimeo was the reason why I created a web series in the first place. Vimeo was the place where I learned how to use a DSLR. It was also the only reason why I completed five episodes on the timeline that I did it was just so I could enter that specific contest. I think uh, it's important for web series to work together, to integrate with each other, to uh, refer to each other. Web series creators, what we uh, take as something very natural is the fact that uh, we are um, building something without border. And, well, exactly like we are doing. I'm, uh, you are uh, based in Australia, I'm based in France, and we are um, on a daily basis in contact with uh, creators all over the world. I talk to producers around the world almost on a daily basis. In terms of the web community, I think there's a really strong web community. I think that uh, a lot of people, they're kind of tired of this, of, a, of like a system that's in place, you know, and, and they just want to create. And that's my biggest thing is, I don't want to wait. You know, we have ideas, my friends have ideas, my, you know, associates, associates have ideas, and we think they're good ideas, so why can't we just implement them? Why do we have to wait? Why do we have to, you know, put it through a process? Um, you know, it may not be the most polished way, but 
hopefully it's a way to get it there, to start for it to get it there. So we put it out to festivals, we did the YouTube, uh, we had our website, we did Twitter accounts, we, you know, um, had a Facebook. What's it like being in a web series festival? What's it like winning an award? Like the hundreds they hand out at LA Web Fest every year? Let's find out. I, uh, I love the web series festivals. To meet with other content creators and also to find um, other people who, who would help me distribute Koku. The festivals, it's great because there's you know, communities are growing. People are learning to work together. People are doing collaborations with each other and everything grows. And that's the nice thing about this industry is that you can really uh, work together with other people. You know, it was like a teenager, some outcast misfit, like walking into his first punk rock show and being like, whoa, everyone here is different like me and uh, somehow I belong. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just so great to see so many like-minded people out there um, and to be introduced to all these great shows. Uh, yeah, I really had a good time at the festival circuit and who would have thought that that was there and available for you know web series creators. It reminds the filmmakers, the creators of web series, that you know, this is about an audience as well. And yes, you have your audience online, but you know, let's put your web series in a cinema with an audience who might be made up of your peers, but also people who are just buying tickets and coming to see you for the very first time. We've won quite a few awards. We won in Hollyweb in Hollywood. Hollywood. And um, to all, everyone here. And we then won a Best Writing Award at IAWTV in Las Vegas. Uh, that festival was particularly good for me because um, we made quite a lot of headlines at home in Ireland. Uh, we made the Irish news. We have to go, we have to go, go, go. That's where there were celebrations in Las Vegas last night for the Irish team behind Cuckoo, an internet drama first shown as part of RTE's Storyland series. Written by Donan Brannock and Nikki Racklin, it was nominated for three awards at the International Academy of Web Television Awards and won in the Best Writing category. I think web series festivals are totally worth it because uh, web series is an emerging market online. Uh, people are still figuring out the revenue model, uh, but the key thing is to get out content. I have not had anything directly come out of any of my awards or nominations. In fact, I remember sitting on a panel at the New York Television Festival with Jake and Amir and uh, a bunch of New York web series people and the question was asked well what who all of whom had won or been nominated for streaming awards and the question was posed well what have what have you guys seen come out of your awards and i think amir from jake and amir looked around and said uh being here right now web series is a place where i think filmmakers are way ahead of the curve independent filmmakers are making their own content and they're engaging directly with their audience this is really where the future is. You now have them in Marseille, LA, Melbourne, Hong Kong, Vancouver, New York, Washington DC. It is nice to uh, kind of just get like a little tiny shot forward in the industry every once in a while. And when that comes from, from you know, a hit, it's much better. But when it comes from an award, it's like a small piece of recognition. I'm trying to show Hollywood something, which is that these web series, and they're valuable, as valuable as any play, any book, any magazine article, any song, any poem. And I'm trying to show the web series community that your, the content we're making is also valuable. The web series festivals have been a lot of fun. It's a great way to meet other people face to face involved in the industry and uh, to hear about their stories, how did they set up the web series, did they have money, did they have not, and what did they do with the usually the small amount of money that we have. For nurturing talent and also to connect people to, to uh, hopefully build this industry that we keep, the elusive industry that we keep talking about, um, festivals are really, really necessary. Although we are all distributed virtually and we talk to each other virtually, there's really nothing that replaces face-to-face -face communications. And I must say, I've, I've appeared as an actor on five different web series uh, and most of that uh, connection has occurred because I've had face-to-face -face meetings with with people at the festivals. Well it must have felt like a relief to be free of those material chains. 
And I think what web series creators um, should focus when they attend the WebFest is not, will I get an award? It, it's, it's good to, to, to get one, of course. Um, but it's not what's really the, the most important thing. The, what I've experienced is what is really, for me, most rewarding in such events is the fact that you are meeting um, uh, other creators, you learn a lot, um, you make new contacts, uh, contact everywhere in the world. It's important to understand you are talking to people who know every aspect of this business and can bring it down to the ground in a final produced high quality product. And talking to these people at festivals is uh, it's like taking four graduate courses at once uh, in how to do this uh, and um, they're, they're from around the world so it's you have an important global community meeting here talking about the the bleeding edge of entertainment really they have great um, workshops and talks and it's just great meeting with people and it's always nice at the end of the day as well to see your web series on the big screen it's, it's very special LA WebFest was the world's first web series festival, founded in 2010 by Michael Ajakwe. Let's hear from the godfather of web series festivals. Well, I don't see myself as the godfather of web series festivals. I, I just happen to be the first guy who did it. I mean, I, I didn't know at the time I was the first guy. I just did it. I didn't know. I found out um, a few months later. I was stunned. I thought it was just America. Then I found out no, no one's ever done a web series festival in the world. I entered my second web series, Fly Guys Present the F Word, in the LA Web Fest. My expectation was that I was onto something new, that nobody really knew about this LA Web Fest, and that you know we would surely have a chance because not a lot of people were doing web series. Um, and this was in 2011, and boy was I wrong. 700 web series have been in the festival. I've watched almost 1,000 web series in the last four years. And, and I've seen people from all walks up. Some are better than others. Uh, some, uh, the production value is not that great, but the story is great. We went to the award ceremony to see if we won anything, and there were hundreds of content creators from all over the world who had come to see if, you know, their web series had gotten some recognition. So that was uh, a huge revelation for me that I wasn't onto something new, for one, and, you know, secondly, that we were on the dawn of something um, huge meeting other people who were doing the same thing that I was doing was just mind-blowing because there were so many of us and from all over the world. When I started on the series, I was really new to the whole concept of web series. Uh, I really hadn't seen very many and didn't even realize that there were so many out there. Uh, so what we did is we shot it, um, spent months on editing and visual effects, and then we just put it out there on the internet. <laughs> And it wasn't until I started submitting to festivals that um, I started realizing that there was really this underground community of web series and filmmakers that were doing content for the internet. Uh, we went to the Holly Shorts, uh, Holly Webs, and LA Web Fest, and it was just great to see so many like-minded creative people making high-quality content. And uh, I was introduced to just uh, a lot of impressive shows that, that I've kept up with and, and really enjoy. There were people from Canada, from France, from Italy, from Mexico, from Norway, from Sweden, from Australia. There were people from all over the place who sort of come together in this one spot to, to really just workshop, network and, and share experiences. People have been able to watch the series and um, getting so many um, responses from people that, you know, all over the world from, through the LA Web Series Festival. Um, and just uh, hearing their thoughts about the, our show and how it speaks to them. And um, I think that's the best encouragement and um, strive that helps us to keep the series going. The web community has definitely grown um, in the two years since. Now I, I feel like everyone has a Kickstarter or um, a new web show. Raindance Webfest is the UK's first web series festival, part of the larger Raindance Film Festival. Let's talk to them about their festival. For me, I've been watching web series now for quite a few years, and, and it's great that for the very first time, a, an established film festival is actually getting behind web series. It's been something that Raindance has been looking into for quite a while now, and we 
really kind of, I guess, road tested it a couple of years ago. So we did this web series pilot competition in 2011 and was really astounded by the amount of, of, of entries. So, you know, come 2013, it was like, okay, we need to do something within web series again. Um, let's actually do a, a, a festival. So the, the London Web Fest is a festival within a festival. It's, it's, it is a two-day celebration of web series um, that takes place during the main Rain Dance Film Festival. We're going to start seeing web fests from around the world, but this is the very first one within an established film festival and just really proves, I think, where Rain Dance is as far as supporting independent filmmakers. So I'm very excited and I hope you will be too when we have our two days of screenings and panels uh, of web series which are all genres, science fiction, drama, comedy, animation. Uh, it's it's, it's going to be a great lineup. Melbourne Web Fest was founded in 2013 by Ashley Thomas, Max de Bowen and Steiner Ellingson. It was the first and by default biggest web series festival in Australia. Let's find out more. There are several established web festivals, for example the Melbourne Web Series Festival, where we won the prize this year. And I need to show you the award. This is for the Grand Jury Prize, which brings us next year to LA and Marseille. And, uh, yeah, I'm very, very proud of best fantasy and best sci-fi. Thank you, Melbourne. We applied for Melbourne Web Fest, and uh, you know, luckily and amazingly, we were selected as an official selection, one of 30 other selections, and uh, that was a really exciting and, and really, you know, fulfilling to kind of have our work seen and kind of be recognised as something that's, you know. Stand out. So that wraps up the Melbourne Web Fest after party. I'm gonna head to it because I'm missing it now. We will see you guys 2014. Happy no Web Fest! <laughs> Met lots of people, and you know, lots of people saw a web series. It was good to have a screening of the actual episode and have it shown in a in a live audience environment. Yeah. Because you know, for the web, it's you know, people are watching it in their homes, in their on their personal computers, and we're not there to see what where the reactions are and sometimes we're there <laughs> just watching you know so at the melbourne web fest our episode was screened in front of a, an audience and so to hear that an audience react and respond to something that we had created was a an awesome experience and the response was positive which was uh pleasantly surprising because don't say that being a more risque sort of a show, yeah. as Michael said, it's, yeah, it can never be entirely sure until you see it with an audience. So that was pleasing. Hong Kong Web Fest is a festival dedicated to all things web, with an emphasis on web series. Let's talk to festival director Marco Spamberg to find out more. Hello, my name is Marco. I'm a, a transmedia producer and um, emerging media strategist. And I'm one of the founders of the Hong Kong Web Fest, and I'm also serving as the director of the Hong Kong Web Fest. And we just had our first edition in uh, last June 2013. The idea of the Hong Kong Web Fest is basically to match up content creators, local Asian content creators with brands in Asia and we had a three-day festival this year uh, one day of screening one day of conference and one day uh, totally online with uh, Google Hangouts for everyone who's watching this make sure to submit your your web series to the London Web Fest um, and have a have a have an eye on the on the Melbourne Web Fest Vancouver Web Fest is Canada's first web series festival, founded by Suzette Lacour. Hi, I'm Suzette Lacour. I'm executive director and founder of the Vancouver Web Fest. The Vancouver Web Fest is looking for original and exceptional content. A lot of thought and commitment will have been put into it. As well, we want it to look good on both the small and the big screen. One of the events in the festival circuit is called the Indie Series Awards. Last year, I was fortunate enough to receive the Best Director in a Drama Award. Now, it's really easy to say winning an award is meaningless and, you know, awards are, are all subjective and yes, that's true. But when you're there and you are there with your fellow directors and you hear them say Kit Williamson from Eastsiders, Tina Cease Ward from Producing Juliet, Jason Lever from Edward Dad, 
uh, Paul Awad from Thurston and Jonathan Halbrook from um, Still. These are amazing, amazing directors. And then to hear your name included in that list, and then to say, and the award goes to Jonathan Robbins, it's, it's affirming of what we do. It's pretty flattering. Through the Marseille Web Festival, I gained a lot of contacts there. And uh, we got a French agent who sold Cuckoo went to French TV Studio 4. I was lucky enough to be invited as a speaker to, uh, to address the future of um, uh, jobs in uh, transmedia. I was really amazed uh, by the quality of the, the, the programming and the, the quality of the, um, um, of the conferences and also the, the atmosphere, the very uh, positive atmosphere. After, after the fest, you, you get uh, so much energy that you, you, you keep this energy uh, for a few weeks after the, um, the event. I want people's festivals to be better than mine. I want people to go to Australia and say, man, that's the best festival I've ever been to, France, you know. And I want to keep growing. It's a challenge for me that every year I'm trying to do more for the, this community, the web series community. And I feel that we can do no greater service to the web series community than to show the web series. It's very important that people see them. When before there might have been one or two festivals, now there are so many festivals. I mean, from like Madrid, Mexico. Ciao, my name is Janet Denardis. I'm a founder and artistic director of the Roma Web Fest, the first Italian festival dedicated to the web series. It is promoted by the Italian Ministry of Culture and other regional institutions and industry associations. Bomba! The idea is uh, to build uh, a bridge between uh, top uh, filmmakers and uh, measures uh, both uh, cinema and TV and uh, give uh, young uh, authors uh, um, a chance uh, to release uh, their projects and uh, upscale uh, their uh, productions. I think the best advice I can give to producers who are, who are exploring the whole web fest or film festival route is make sure you have something different, something original. I think it's originality because basically what I, what, I, what I always tell people that want to do new web series, that want to um, basically start in the business is uh, look, at, look at the market first, what's out there already, uh, research as much as you you can and then and then think about what can you bring new to the table you know that sense of freedom and um, and you feel it whenever you go to a web series festival you know you you it's so different going to a web series festival uh, as opposed to going to uh, you know a short film festival or a regular film festival there's such a sense of camaraderie and a feeling that you know we're all in this together and I, I really hope that that doesn't go away as you know the years go on and web series become more and more popular or more people know about them. But uh, before we wrap up today's show, you know, as usual, I want to thank you for joining the Big Dick Mike show with your co-host Joey. There you go. And uh, you know, Joe, before we wrap up the show, you want to think we want to do a little, a little something, a little boogie. All right. Yeah. For fifty bucks. You know what? You drive a hog bargain, but you learn it, kid. You learn it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Everybody, join us next time on the Big Dick Mike Show for the biggest dick in Philly. I'm Paul Jerome, and I'm Jermaine Javon, and thank you for watching Inside Web Series. Thanks for watching Inside Web Series. In our next episode, we're talking about all the other aspects of web series production we couldn't pigeonhole into the other episodes. See you then. I'm David M. Green, and you can be too. <laughs>